All right, I have my goggles on and I'm ready to play. My name is Sloth154 and welcome back to Flower. This is an Annapurna Interactive game uh, production. Also, this is from Santa Monica Studios. Get that off the screen. So we are now in the third flower. Last episode, we did the red one. Don't know what it's called, but this time we're doing the pink one. So if you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe. It does help the channel. Tell me in the comment section what you think about this game and the stage we're about to go through. Check out the description. I have a link to the playlist for this series and other games I played on my channel. But I think we're slowly moving forward in time through the memories of these flowers to when this becomes a city. And if you noticed in the first episode, ooh, I like that. Oh, see, there's a wind farm here now. Yeah, so things have changed, I think. Oh, that was cool. I am loving this. I've been saying it a lot, this gameplay, but I do love this. Always love games with good visual and sound design. What are we gonna get out of this? Oh, we're getting the wind turbines back up and running. Let's get these ones in the center.
There you are. Last one. Right, let's get these blue petals and move on. There we go. Brought those back to life. I'm just gonna get all the flowers I can. Oh. Oh my. Look at this. It's going to be a pain to make the thumbnail for this, but I'm going to do it. such a good rhythm going you threw off my groove Thank you. 
got the second roll up. Sun's almost completely set. Can't be over already. Is there only one special flower? Hmm. Well, this episode might be over pretty quick. But our trail gets bigger and bigger, and that looks awesome. Oh, I love that. So many different things I want to put in the thumbnail, but I can't use them all. So it's night time. So I'm going to end this episode here. This was flower. Looked amazing. I got a bit thrown off with, uh, with that one, with the second part of this, uh, game of this level where we were pushed through that, uh, valley with the wind, but Either way, we got to see some amazing sights. It looks amazing. I hope it translates well through the recording, but it looks amazing. So, if you ended up liking this video, even if you didn't, comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me in the comment section what you thought about this stage. Do you notice anything I'm missing? Or is it just so straightforward that we don't need to look for deeper meaning? Check out the description. I have a link to the playlist for this series and other games I've played on my channel. Alright, so that's pretty much everything I need to say. Because this was this one ended a bit quicker than the other ones. But it's still a good game. If you want to try it, uh, try it for yourself. I learned, I looked it up in between this and the last episode. But uh, this game was not from the PlayStation 1 era. It's from the PlayStation 3 era. That's why the controls are a bit weird because they had to switch them over from the motion control because that's when, you know, almost every game they put out, the majority of the games they put out were trying to match with the Wii. So they had their controller with motion controls and a few games it worked with, and I feel like this would be one, this might not be one of them. Because without being able to control the camera, we can't really... You got to be able to know how to orient yourself so you can see what you need to see. Yeah, I'm going to leave the rest of that thought for another episode. So, if you made this far in the video, Prime thanks you. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.